Hello and welcome to another video from Inzara.com. We are going to talk about the earned value management and this is a technique that's used in project management to measure the progress of a project compared to the plan with respect to the cost. And in this video we will see some of the reasons why earned value management is useful. We will talk about the terms involved in this concept and their definitions. And then finally, we will also see an Excel template that is free to download that can be used to calculate the terms involved in earned value management for your project. Now let's get started with a very simple example to help us understand how earned value management can be helpful. So let's take an example project where we are planning, uh, we are in the planning stage and according to our plan, it is going to take us 10 days of work and it's going to cost 1000. And after the planning, let's say we are beginning the project and we have already gone through five days of actual work. So at that point, after five days, we have completed 40% of the work and it has so far cost 400. So in this scenario, if we were to measure how we are doing in uh, project performance compared to the plan, we could take the actual cost of 400 and then compare it with Okay, after five days, we should have been at 500 cost, but we are at 400. So does that mean that we are performing better than the plan? Not necessarily because we have only completed 40% of the work. And, you know, we should have completed 50% of the work because we are five days into the project out of the total project plan of 10 days. So it looks like we are behind schedule. So now it gets a little bit messy with the, you know, multiple things in there. So it's hard to actually really say how, how well we are performing in terms of cost and schedule. So that's where we um, introduce the concept of earned value. So now let's see some of the terms involved and then how we can define them and calculate them. So the first one is planned value. So as of five days into the project, what is our planned value? The planned value is the sum of the budget that has been authorized according to the plan. So after five days, according to the plan, we should have been at 50% complete of the project. So 50% times the total planned cost is 500. So that is the planned value. So we should have completed work equivalent to 500. And the earned value is the value of the work that has already been performed measured in or expressed in terms of the planned cost. So for example, we have completed 40% of the work. So the total project cost is 1000. So 40% of 1000 is 400. So that is how much the work that we have performed is valued at. So we have earned the value of 400. Now the actual cost is pretty straightforward. It has cost us 400 um, so far and the budget at completion is pretty straightforward. It's just the 1000 that is the total cost of our plan. That is the 1000. And now let's define some indices that will help us measure how we are performing or how efficient we are. The first one is schedule performance index. This is a ratio of earned value to planned value. This is a measure of our schedule efficiency or how well are we performing according to the planned schedule not the cost but planned schedule so we have earned 400 our earned value is 400 and our planned value is 500 so we are at 0.8 schedule performance index a number less than one here means that we are behind schedule a number greater than one means that we are ahead of schedule the next one is the cost performance index. And as the name indicates, it measures our cost efficiency. So we have um, earned, our earned value is 400 and the actual cost that it has cost us is also 400. So 400 by 400 is one. A number here greater than one means that we are under the planned cost. A number here uh, less than one means that we are over the planned cost. We are over the budget. So that's how you would interpret these to indices and we also can calculate the variance which is nothing but the difference in earned value and between the earned value and planned value is a measure of the um, it's, it's a 
it's the amount by which the project is ahead or behind the plan a negative value here means that we are behind the plan and then um, the positive value here means that we are ahead of the plan and similarly cost variance can be calculated as the difference between the earned value and the actual cost and uh, it's the measure of amount by which the actual cost is ahead or behind the planned cost again a negative value here means that we are over the planned cost we are over the budget a positive value here means that we are ahead of the planned cost now that we have talked about the terms to measure the performance of the project so far an extension of the evm concept is also into forecasting so now that we know how we have performed so far can we use that information to predict how the rest of the project will go that's where forecasting comes into play and we're going to see three different forecasting methods there could be more but we're going to talk about these specific three methods and the first one is the budget rate this is an assumption that the rest of the project we will perform at how we originally planned the cpi this is a method by which we are assuming that our future performance will be the same as how we have performed so far on cost and the last method is the combination of SPI and CPI, which is basically saying the rest of the project will be done at the performance or the, at the efficiency that we have seen both on schedule and cost so far. And there are formulas to calculate these. So estimate at completion, it's the cost of the project at the end of the project. So this includes the actual cost, which is a C and then what will be the cost for the rest of the project rest of the project will be BAC which is the total budget and then minus earned value so how much ever work that we have already completed you take that out that's the remaining work to be done so AC plus that will be the the EAC which is the estimate at the completion of the project and the other method CPI we we you know basically say that the rest of the project will be performing at the CPI rate and then SPI and CPI, similarly, the rest of the project will be performing at combination of CPI and SPI. And the next term is estimate to complete. This is nothing but how much, um, what's the value of the rest of the project? That is nothing but the total at the end of the project, EAC, and you subtract the actual cost that we have already incurred. So that is the rest of the cost that will be incurred in the future. And then we have variance at completion, which is nothing but the difference in cost um, of the project compared to the planned budget. So our planned cost was 1000. For example, in our in our example, the planned cost for the entire project was 1000. And whatever we are currently estimating will be EAC and the difference will be the variance at completion. So this is basically measuring how um, how how much ahead or how much more will the project cost or how much less the project will cost compared to the our original plan that's what this is and finally we have a an index called to complete performance index and this is a measure of the cost performance that is required for us from now onwards in order to meet our goal so let's say that our goal is to complete the project on the planned budget then the formula will give us Basically, it is the work remaining to be done divided by funds remaining or the money remaining with us. So work remaining to do is the budget at completion minus earned value, that stuff that we've already done. So that is the work remaining to be done. Funds remaining will be the total budget at completion and we have already spent AC, which is the actual cost that we've already spent. So the difference will be the work remain, the funds remaining in with us. So this ratio will give us what cost performance we need to maintain or what efficiency we need to maintain in order to meet our planned budget. So let's say um, as after a certain point in time of the project, we realize that our new EAC or the estimated completion is higher or lower, which means it has changed from the plan. So then if we want to calculate the to complete performance index, then we change the formula slightly basically our BAC or the in the denominator where we have the funds remaining we now have 
changed funds or changed budget because we have EAC because we've been approved of the new budget compared to the original plan. So we have EAC minus AC, that will be the denominator. This index will help us calculate what is the cost efficiency we need to maintain to complete on the new EAC. And keep in mind that a number here greater than one in the TCPI, it indicates that it's going to be harder to do. Uh, and a number here less than one will indicate that it's easier to do. So that is how you would interpret uh, this specific index. Okay, so now that we have talked about the terms used uh, in our earned value management concept here, let's take a look at our template, which will help us calculate these metrics for us.